If you didn't know, the McGann Electric Configurator has now gone live on Renault's website. And I'm going to have a small rant about one feature that's missing due to something that Renault have done on their website. But the big question is, am I going to order one? and what deals are available on it. Now, if you want to learn more about the Megane and this video doesn't answer all your questions, then sign up to the Renault EV Club, link down below in the description. They have a Facebook page and a forum, and it's run by Smith's Motor Group. And they will be able to answer all the questions as a dealer selling the car, but also members will be on there and me answering questions on the Megane. And at the end of this video, we're going to be discussing a special deal Smith's Motor Group are going to have on the Megane. Now, I want to say that I am massively excited for the Megan E. After the Zoe's NCAT rating of zero stars, Renault really needed to get out there in front of that story and the NCAT story, and they have. The Megan E scores five stars and scores top points in a lot of categories. Now, as soon as the configurator launched, I rushed to Renault's website to have a look at it. I've avoided reviews of this car, looking at pictures of this car. I just wanted to get my honest feel of the car as soon as I saw it. So I rushed to Renault's website. The car looks stunning. I looked at the interior, the interior stunning. Look at that massive screen in front of the driver. And then look at that massive screen, that cockpit screen in the middle facing the driver. It reminds me of the early model uh, S's and X's. It's just a lovely large screen. Wait, what's, what's that text underneath? 12 inch open R link screen shown is not available in the UK. What? I mean, this feels like an episode of who wants to be a Renault buyer? No, we don't want to give you that. And taking it away. I, I just... Uh, so anyway, it's it's a nine inch screen for the UK. And I thought, well, you know, what's a couple of inches between friends? Now I'll get to the configurator's main page for the interior. And I thought, let's have a look at this, this, this smaller screen. So I load it up and I'll be honest, I'm a little bit upset. We haven't got the option for the larger screen and we've only got this smaller screen. And it is not currently an option, not even on the launch edition is it an option. Now, I did take this down to Renault's press team and I asked, why have we not got the big screen? Well, they didn't give me a why, but what they did say is that the larger screen will be available at some point of an iteration of the Renault Megane E. Now, if that was a absolute clincher, if that was the one thing that you only wanted on the Megane E and that's the only thing putting you off an order, it will eventually come. But should you delay your Megane based on that screen? Well, personally, my wife prefers the small screen. I showed her both pictures and didn't tell her which one you got. I said, which one would you prefer? She said, I prefer the small screen. It looks more neat, less cluttered. And it supposedly got a much higher resolution than the larger screen, according to Renault. So that is some advantage over the, over the small screen. She did say she preferred it. I guess at night, that big screen could be a little bit annoying, a little bit distracting. And at the moment, compared to the average screen on most cars, it is still a very large class sliding screen. You've also got the large screen in front of the driver display. So you've got that big, big screen in front of the driver. So you've still got two, you, you've essentially got a much larger screen space to play with than you did on earlier cars from the Renault range. Now, would you, if you're kind of on teetering on the edge, should you wait for the bigger screen? Should you order now? My advice to you would probably be order now. And the reason is I've got a video coming out shortly, which is about waiting times on new cars. And this is not just electric cars. This is all new cars, but electric cars in particular have got some massive delays. In fact, some of the cars could be as long as 62 weeks from order. Renault have some of the shortest waiting times at the moment of around about 32 weeks on the Zoe, but the Zoe's kind of dropped off with favour recently on sales, and I think the Megane is going to be a real big seller for Renault. I, in fact, I expect that their order reservation for this is going to be one of the highest, and the waiting list on that will follow, as in getting longer and longer. So if you are thinking of delaying, my advice would probably be not. And there is a huge lithium shortage at the moment. So if you do delay for that bigger screen, not only would you be paying more for the larger screen, but the price of the Megane may have also significantly increased, not only just due to inflation, but also due to the lithium shortage at the moment. Now, I'm a little bit annoyed that Renault did leave the larger screen pictures all over the website, and they are dotted around all over. So if you do look at it and you see that larger screen on the website and, and the specifications on Renault website, ignore it. It is the smaller screen on all specs. And like I said, wife prefers it. So did I order one? Well, we'll get to that in a minute, but let's look at some of the other things about the Megane. Now, the Megane 
in its class is going to be a leader in a lot of tech. There's a lot of stuff coming to the McGann later on in its generation. There's also rumours that the McGann will eventually do vehicle to grid V2X and that will be a software upgrade possibly on the car at later future date. I haven't got full confirmation on that yet so bear with me. You can reserve the car though right now on Renault's website and because there's no price out you're not actually committed to buying it. Now I've said the car comes with a five star NCAT rating which makes it one of the highest scored cars under the new testing procedures. It also comes with a 60 kilowatt hour battery so it's going to get some really good impressive range figures. It's sadly not going to have a heat pump in it but I think in the UK in particular it's not going to matter too much. We don't get that much of a cold winter. Cars aren't insulated. Heat pumps work better when the heat's not re-escaping. I think over the course of a long journey, we're probably only going to see a difference of maybe 10 to 15 miles of total range with a heat pump on a big journey. And 10 to 15 miles on a big journey is neither here or there. Shorter journeys, yes, you may notice that you're losing a lot more heat as you're opening and closing those doors more. But I honestly don't think it's a big thing that the heat pump's missing. They may add it as an option in the future i believe but i really honestly if you're a buyer and you're thinking that heat pumps extremely important in an ev in the uk i really honestly can't see the benefit on a, a large battery 60 kilowatt hour battery like the megane e. so the big question did i order it well there's only 300 launch edition models going to be sold and i honestly think it's a beautiful car the wife loves the smaller red screen in the interior and it's likely going to be her car so i'm going to treat her i'm going to treat her to a new car and treat myself as well because i really like the megane e. and i'm going to order a launch edition megane e now the price hasn't been announced yet i'm predicting we're going to be seeing between 35 and maybe forty-two thousand pound for the megane e, um, depending on spec this is a pure speculation it could be a little bit less it could be a little bit more but that's somewhere i think it's going to be between those two figures based on what they're selling the zoe at the moment and the fact that the megan is a bigger battery and a more highly spec and larger class car now if you go on the configurator and you select megan e put your spec in pick your color go through the whole thing and put a 500 pound reservation but if you pick your dealer of smith's motor group peterborough they will give you an additional £250 discount on any deals they may be offering on the Megane at the time of sale when it comes out. So make sure you put Smiths, select them as the dealer that you want the car to be bought and delivered from. And when the car finally comes out with price, you can make a decision if you're going to go through the car. But it's well worth putting your £500 out now. If you're happy with the price range that I think the car is going to be in, get one ordered because the waiting list on this car I think is going to be huge. Renault have had seven thousand people ask for more details on the Renault Megane e and to put that into perspective that for Renault is a huge number that's a huge number for any manufacturer to request extra information on a car that's not been released yet with no pricing information so mine's my order's in is your order in let me know what color you've gone for have you selected Smiths as your preferred dealer for delivery thank you very very much for watching this week's video and I'll see you again next week goodbye